Okay, so we'll do some um, vegan yogurt. We've been tasting this in the kitchen, so it's quite popular out there. Um, it's popular with my boys as well. So this is dairy-free, um, refined sugar-free, and I think you'll really enjoy it. There's a little sample of what you'll get later. So we'll start off with half a cup of boiling water, which I'll get around from here. Put that in the blender, along with our, a third of a cup of cashews. Now we're just going to blitz that together. You'll see it quite hot when I take the lid off. At this point, I would test that to make sure there's no grittiness in it. You don't want it gritty at all. You want a nice, smooth yogurt. If your blender's not quite up to the task, because most blenders can't get a nice, smooth paste, I'd be using a hand blender if you've got one of those at home, because you want that really super smooth. So to that, we're going to add a cup of pineapple juice and get the unsweetened one. I'll just give that a little. So at home when I make this, because I'm just using one cup, I usually make double, so that's two cups. So I just put the rest of the pineapple juice in the freezer and bring it out in cup full lots. We're going to use maple syrup as the sweetener. I'll just get my maple syrup. Thank you. And I found it didn't quite need as much as what it says. So you can adjust this according to taste. Fifty mils. At home we have beehives, so you can also use honey if you, you eat honey. Two and a half level tablespoons of corn flour. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt, which is just a bit of a dash. And a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. I just need my husband. <laughs> Tim, get the top off, please. It's very important to have a man in the kitchen. <laughs> 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 And two cups of fresh strawberries. I've got frozen here, so we'll put those in. They've defrosted a little bit so that it won't be so hard on my blender. And I think I've got everything there. So let's whiz this up.
that's mixed nicely. So we pop it in a pot on the stove. Mm -hmm. And so now it's like a custard. You just need to um, wait till it thickens up. It loses a little bit of the colour. It's a nice bright pink. Um, Tim always asks me, this one's so dull, what have you done? I found that if I use a metal spoon to stir it, that can change the colour. It's just the pineapple juice reacting. Yeah, so I've got a wooden doodaki. So it's quite simple, it's just like blend everything, heat it up, thicken it up. And again, it's really good, the kids love it and they can have an extra big helping. I don't have to stress about the sugar content. They think it's lovely. You can have it with fresh fruit or we have it especially with our cereal for breakfast. Let's turn that up a little bit. So the pineapple juice gives, gives it that yogurty sort of bitterness that yogurt has, the, the tang. Yeah. You can also use blueberries or any other mixed fruit. Um, I know you can get, what can you get? Strawberries and like the mixed berries in the bag or the tropical mix. Yeah, anything. I know the um, lady who I got this recipe off originally, she used to do blueberries and put almond essence in it as well. But I'm not too fond of almond essence, but if you like almond essence, that's a good combination. Another tip is I kept my pineapple juice at room temperature so it didn't curdle. Um, I, you know, if you've got leftover juice in the fridge, just keep it out on the bench for a little bit so it doesn't curdle. And that's heating up nicely. So there are fights in our house as to who looks out the pot. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah. Um, if the water does a fame, yeah. Out, yeah. Yeah. Out. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell me what cabinet um, with pasta wrapped directly onto? Yeah, surface? I'll show you that. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that, but I will show you. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's thickening up. That's if you don't want a skin on it. I actually. Some people are a bit grossed out by the skin on custard. I actually love it. Yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah, if you don't want that plastic content on your, coming into contact with your yogurt, just don't, don't do that. If you don't mind skin, don't bother. But this will stop the skin, because the skin does take off a quite a big wad if you're trying to um, yeah, have, it a, have it as a posh meal or something, or a dessert. You want it to, to be um, able to be presented really nicely. So. <coughs> that's coming together nicely. I'm just using a higher temperature than I normally would. It's nearly there. I haven't tried it without the berries, just a plain vanilla, but you might have to play around with that a little bit, and I know, yeah. There we go, we're boiling. So we'll tip it into the, the dish. So that's that, really simple. And I'll get some glad wrap. Have the glad wrap, please, Sharon. Oh, here it is. Got it. Thank you. So we'll just get a piece of glad wrap. This will stop the skin. Make it kind of loose around the edges. I think you can use this with anything that forms a skin, and this will stop the skin forming. So 
like that. And then I'll just put a piece of bread wrap over it again and pop it in the fridge. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you.